Well, we're uh, we're leaving. <laughs> We've had, had to, don't even point at him anymore. I don't want to see another half-ass bite. I can't take it. Uh, you know, you never know. You never know whether a day of fishing is just the situation, just the fishing. Uh, was it the bait you used? Whether you know what it was, but you know this particular section of the Rock River is a section that we've kind of wondered how hard <clears throat> it got hit by the fish kill. Uh, I keep some pretty close records of water temperatures, dates, times, and situations, and I have always done well uh, at this water temperature on a cold front on the second day. Uh, you know that's neither here nor there. Whether whether us having a, a rough day today has anything to do with the fish kill, I don't know. I really don't know. We caught two flatheads today, had a bunch of light biting fish, but um, could just be one of them days. Maybe tomorrow I'd come out and catch catch six or seven, catch a couple big ones. You just never know. That's the way fishing goes. But uh, to say I'm disappointed, at least, I, I think this area here, we're in the Sterling Rock Falls area, I think this area has been hit pretty hard. Uh, just by watching some things today, and uh, you know, the, the Department of Conservation has a lot of good people that work for it. Uh, but as a as an entity or as a as a whole, pretty disappointed in what we're seeing here. Uh, you know, and typically every couple years or so, they run a net study on this river, and they can net, tag, clip fins. <laughs> of flatheads and uh, record that data and keep a track on population, uh, annual growth, things along those lines of the flatheads in the river. Now if there was ever a year, ever a year when they need to be doing that, this is the year. Because that is when you can notice, you know, may maybe they would run that study this year and they don't notice a big drop off. I really believe they're gonna if they did, but they're not. Uh, they're sitting on their hands, apparently. Maybe maybe we need to put some more northern pike or some more smallmouth or something in here, or, or uh, maybe they'll stock some more gars. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't like what we're seeing. Uh, I think there should be a lot more being done. Pretty much had had all I can take of the state of Illinois. Uh, you know, it never fails that I get pulled over and have my boat searched about two or three times a year, looking for fire extinguishers and whistles and a guide license and a, a fishing license and stuff. But you know, now when the river system and the people that fish it and the fish that are in it need need the help the most, there's nothing. There's nothing going on. They just want it to disappear. So. You know, to the train company who dumped the chemicals, accidentally I'll be, the, you know, uh, I got a big fuck you to them. And uh, to the Illinois Department of Conservation, uh, to the people that could be making a difference that are part of that group, I got a big fuck you for you. And uh, to the guys that are up and down the river still taking pictures of big 30 pound flathead and keeping them and, and, uh, and gutting and them, I got a big double fuck you. Uh, you know, everybody thinks that our resources are expendable and, uh, and renewable and, and the fish will just take care of themselves and the, the bank, the river banks and, and everything will just take care of themselves and you can just keep raping the river and, and, and doing things you want to do while uh, eventually that stuff comes to an end. And, uh, I really never thought it would come to an end in this river, and it may not be over. Uh, the channel cat fishing will recover. The flathead fishing needs our help. Uh, it doesn't need smallmouth bass and northern pike and, and, and stuff. We need to be doing a net study on this river right now and uh, finding out how bad the flatheads were hurt, and we need to be fixing. Uh, so, you know, I'm just ready to leave the state. Never thought I'd ever want to leave this river, but uh, you know that's how it's got me feeling. But anyway, to those of you who thought I'd never 
swear something on video, I'm, I apologize to you if you're offended in any way, shape, or form, but that's just the way I feel. Uh, you know, hopefully I'm, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I gotta eat crow and apologize big time to somebody, because believe me, I have no problem doing that if I'm wrong. Uh, I hope I'm wrong. I hope, I hope that I'm just not the fisherman I think I am and that there's flatheads all over this section of the river up here. Uh, I hope that's the truth. I hope, I hope that, I just hope it's the truth, but uh, I don't think it is. But anyway, uh, thanks again to all you guys for, for being uh, so good on the website. We got a ton of new members again. We got some great new sponsors. Uh, can't thank them enough. Cajun Line, uh, James at Cajun, thank you very much. Jerry at Save Face. Uh, William, Polecat, Bone Island Custom Rods, thank you. As always, GNS Cheese Bait and JNN Dipworms, we appreciate everything you guys do. You guys have been around uh, since the beginning of the Catfish Academy. I really appreciate that. You know, uh, Ralph Riley and Jamie Riley, Cat Juice, JuicedUpBaits.com. Uh, you guys are awesome. Steve with Monster Rod Holders, Mike at Ultimate Metalworks, uh, G3 Boats, Tom at Bittler Marine, Kyle and Carl down there also, thank you. Doc Kodiak Outdoor Sports and our newest, one of our newest sponsors up there uh, at uh, Taxidermy up there, Bighorn Taxidermy and Archery. Thank you, Jim and Mercedes. Uh, and they're going to do a lot of big things in the future. You guys are going to see they're giving away a, a deer stand and a shoulder mount and some things on the website right now. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. Uh, Man, I sure hope I ain't forgetting anybody. I, I don't think I am. Uh, thanks, OK, up at Rock River Outfitters. Uh, OK's a pretty OK dude. <laughs> uh, and thanks, uh, Fred Diehard, for coming down. Every time I want, want to do something on the river, Fred always drops everything and comes up here. I mean, he spends most of the day whining and complaining, but he still runs the camera for me. So thanks a bunch to Fred. And to the other guys that offered on the site, there was a few other guys that, that offered to come down and help also. Uh, just, I guess the point we're trying to get across, man, we, I just don't understand uh, how some people can be so blind to the obvious. But, uh, you know, what do you do? Get out on the water, take a kid fishing, all that good stuff, all that cliche stuff, you know, but it's all good cliche. Uh, stuff we need to be doing so uh, I've sat right here at this bridge since I was a little bitty kid uh, before I had a boat I sat over there on the bank and got eaten alive by mosquitoes and sat on icebergs during the winter and sat here and caught fish and you know for a long time I've been sitting here in a boat doing the same thing and uh, just hate to see the river suffer it's almost like a member of your family suffering uh, but you know, I know I, I speak for many when I say I'm upset with, I'm devastated by what happened and upset with the reaction it's getting, uh, the attention that it's getting. It's just been swept under a rug and, you know, it just ain't right. But anyway, we're going to get on out of here. Fred's got a ballet appointment tonight, so we got to get moving and uh, I'm, I'm pretty tired. So thanks everybody and, you know, Tell your friends about the Catfish Academy, catfishacademy.com. Get them on there. And let's keep growing. So we'll see you next time.